Hello friends, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween everybody. Hope you're all having a great day. As you're seeing this, it's like the day after Halloween, but um, every time I shut the door, Layla comes in. Layla. So I thought I would vlog today because it's gonna be a really fun day. Um, we're getting ready to go to Lucy's Fall Festival at school. Um, they didn't invite parents for the older kids, so I'm not sure if I'll get to see Nate at the fall festival. I think they're going to have a little bit later, from what I'm understanding. Um, but I can get clips of Lucy at her fall festival, and then we're able to check her out after. Um, since Nate is it going to later, I probably will leave him in school so that he can enjoy his fall festival time. Um, but the pre-K can get be checked out, so we're going to check Lucy out. Me and Grammy are going to go to the fall festival and then um, we'll do something fun with Lucy. Let her play and have fun today. I'll go get Nate. And then tonight we're having, <clears throat> my voice is like in and out. Tonight we're having our um, trick or treat time. So our church does what they call Blocktober. And um, basically we go out into neighborhoods. We set up a big bouncy house. Um, and we cook hot dogs and give out candy. And we just love on the community. Um, so many churches like, you know, have things at their church and make people come to them on Halloween. But we just really like going into the neighborhoods and going out to people and letting them know that our church cares about them and that we're there. And we have two locations we're doing today. So um, we'll be at one of them and we'll be playing in the bounce house with the kids and then going trick-or-treating in the neighborhood with the kids. So um, you guys know Nate is a little bit skittish of Halloween stuff, but last year he really liked trick-or-treating. Now he doesn't like any of the candy <laughs> that they give him. Every now and then we'll get a house that gives us um, goldfish or a juice box or something, but he really does like the process of ringing the doorbell and saying trick-or-treat and it's so cute. So we're going to play it by ear and um, see how it goes. Lucy would trick or treat until her arm got so heavy with candy, <laughs> her bucket got so heavy with candy she couldn't move. She loves it because she loves getting all that candy. So um, she's going to wear two costumes today. She's going to wear one at her fall festival and that's the one she wore last year. I'll try to remember to link last year's fall um, Halloween because they were so cute. She was a big chocolate chip cookie, if you guys remember, and Nate was Cookie Monster. And um, then she's going to be something else tonight, which you guys can probably guess <laughs> what she's going to be. Maybe by the thumbnail. We'll see. Um, so it's just a really exciting day. I'm, I didn't make up my bed, so sorry about that. I got my pumpkin shirt on. I got my boots on. Um, it's still really hot in here but it's really cool outside. It's supposed to warm up a good bit today, so we're still having trouble with our air. I'm hoping they'll come and fix it because it is very hot throughout the day. Um, if you saw yesterday's vlog, I had a cheat. Yeah, it was a cheat. <laughs> I had some chocolate because I had a very bad migraine. I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm just trying to ease into the day and get back on track. So I just had some black coffee and then I'm drinking one of these Bang Energies. Now, when I bought these, I didn't realize that I bought caffeine-free. So that kind of, you know, stinks because I like the caffeine and the bangs. But it's still really, really good. I've heard this flavor is good, and it is. It's cotton candy. And it's very yummy. Um, it still has all the other benefits. It's just caffeine-free. So it's a good option if for you guys that say that the bangs make you too jittery and stuff because of the caffeine. They do have caffeine-free versions, um, so you can get the creatinine and the CoQ10 and all the stuff that the good stuff that's in here, but you don't have to have the caffeine. So I'm gonna drink this, and we're gonna get going to the fall festival. Um, and I'll just film what I can. I've never been to a fall festival. I know they had one. Last, I mean, I have, but not at this school. I know last year Nate did go to one, but they didn't invite parents, and I don't think it was on Halloween. It was like a few days before, so see how it goes. I'm sure Lucy will get some candy, and it'll be fun, and um, let's get going. Change. 
stowaway what? Nate what? Here. so on our way to the fall festival I got a text hi. from Nate's teacher hi. who said he was breaking out and she said hi um, which terrified me to no end because he is allergic to peanuts so I went into his classroom once we got there and looked at him and she said it had gone down a lot but he had gone into the library threw himself in the floor not wanting to do something and got really itchy, took his shirt off, and they noticed he was really splotchy, bumpy, red, streaked. That's when she texted me. So we're not sure what he came in contact with. He has very sensitive skin, super sensitive skin. So it could have just been the carpet, and then he scratched it, and then once he scratches, it makes it worse. I'm not really sure, but um, he tried to go to the fall festival and with Grammy. She, we we kind of split up after that. Um, they only let parents go with the pre-K, but the, we try, she went with Nate for a little while too, just because of special needs and stuff, and we were already there, <laughs> and he didn't really want to do that. He was kind of over it, a lot of people, a lot of stimulation, so he sat in the office with Grammy and looked at her phone. No! That's Give it to me. No! Then don't do it again. I'll tell you where we're going in just a second and while they're fighting. Um, so he sat in the office with Grammy for like two hours while I did all the stuff with Lucy that you guys saw. So we checked them both out and it's right at noon right now. We asked him, he's fine. The rash is gone. He's fine. Lucy, I told you not to do that again. So we, okay. So we asked Nate where he wanted to go to lunch and he said CeCe's. So we're going to go to CeCe's and I am going to just eat a couple pieces of pizza. I am... I don't know. I don't know that I'm going to eat keto and like scrape off the pizza and all that. I don't know. I think I'm just going to have a, a small portion and a big salad. If that changes, I will definitely let you know. But that's my plan. Just not, not go overboard today and start over tomorrow. Um, I just want to enjoy Halloween. Mommy, look at just me. not go crazy. So, look at me. So why we have that is... We saw you. I can see you in the camera. Um, Cece's is doing this thing where if you come in costume, you get a kid's meal free. So Lucy's brought her cookie costume, and Nate, I just grabbed him a firefighter hat. So we're going to be a firefighter and a cookie, and we're going to get a free meal at Cece's. So Grammy, Grandpa, and Uncle Kevin are behind us. I'll try to show you a clip of us at Cece's if I have a chance, but I'm usually really busy feeding kids. So we're headed there now. We'll see you guys back later. We're getting excited about trick-or-treating tonight. Whoop, whoop. Lunch. We came back home and chilled. Look at them crazy. It's hot in here. And I got Lucy all ready for trick or treating. You want to show them? Want to show them? 
Dun, 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 dun. I don't know why I'm singing that. Look how cute. Do a, do a twirl. It's Belle. Mommy tried with her hair, y'all. And look Maybe at her shoes. Colors. Grammy got her new shoes. Hold up your dress and show them. Look at those cute shoes. We're going to go trick-or-treating. I'm going to get some footage for you guys. Nate's dressed up in his beast shirt. We're going to get some pictures, some video. Are you excited? Yes. Yeah, Bye-bye. I love you. Aww. And look my jewel. Look my jewel. Do you want to see it? Go. Yeah. Yeah. It's red. Okay. It's always the pink red. Let's go. next day <laughs> I did not finish out the vlog and my glasses look terrible okay so yesterday was crazy but it was so much fun I don't know how much I updated you throughout the day so I'm gonna update you now <laughs> 
So we went to Lucy's Fall Festival. That was so crazy. So much fun. We went to Cece's for lunch. Um, you guys saw that. And then it was pretty much time we came home for like a couple hours. Oh, first we went to Kohl's and Grammy and Grandpa got Lucy some pink Converse. You guys saw those. Lucy wanted to show you on the camera. She looks so cute on them. And then they got Nate some pants. So yay for pants that fit. Grandparents are the best, right? <laughs> um, we really appreciate them getting them a little something. And then, um, or a big something actually. And then we came home, rested for like an hour. And then I had to get everybody ready. I tried to do Lucy's hair sort of good. And, um. Uh, by the end of the night, we just took it down because it wouldn't stay. She's running around. So I had been prepping Nate about trick-or-treat. You guys know he was really eerie, weary, weary of <laughs> um, Halloween decorations. So we had been working with him this whole holiday season. We got some ha Halloween, like we got this Halloween skull. I showed you guys that. And we kind of got him used to seeing it. And uh, it got to the point where by the end of the season, he was like touching it. And we just wanted them to see that it wasn't real. So I was wondering how he would do trick-or-treating. And that's why I'm glad Grammy was there. So if he needed to go back with her, he could. Um, David was very busy because we did that Halloween. I don't know if you guys saw, we our church set up tables and we were cooking hot dogs and we had drinks and stuff. And so we did a Halloween block party basically for this neighborhood. So David was busy with that. So it was me taking the kids and Grammy. And um, y'all, that child rocked it out. Um, Nate doesn't like candy. So for him, trick-or-treating isn't too, too exciting, <laughs> as exciting as normal um, because he doesn't eat any of the things he gets. But I worked with him. I told him that you, you know, knock on the door and you say trick or treat and then you get the candy and you put it in your bucket and then you say, thank you. Happy Halloween. Y'all, he did it. Every bit of that. He did so good. He knocked on the door and he said, trick or treat without me even telling him. And then he got the candy and he said, thank you. Happy Halloween. Oh my gosh. My heart just melted. It was so cute. Um, it was just so cute. We did about 10 or 12 houses, maybe, maybe 10 houses. And then they were pretty much done. So, um, we went back and they bounced in the bounce house and it was a lot of fun. Um, by the time we finished there and then I got them a quick bath, it was late and Lucy had had so much candy, y'all. The child had so much candy last night. Um, she was ill by the end of it. Like her sugar crash, you know, crashed down. But we had so much fun. And I know this vlog is getting long. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, all the little memories that I'm so glad I'm documenting that I'll have like forever. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching too. Um, Grammy and Grandpa just left this morning. This is the first that I'm filming this a day after Halloween. So we had a great time with them and it won't be long. We'll be going to visit them for Thanksgiving. So we'll be having more vlogs. You guys don't forget about our holiday card exchange. We will be um, exchanging cards with you guys. So if you send us a, a Christmas card, I say Halloween Christmas. I feel like I said Halloween. I probably didn't. Um, if you send us a Christmas card, we'll send you one back. And um, we really, I'm really looking forward to getting all the cards. The kids are going to be so excited about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. We had so much fun yesterday. I am exhausted. That's why I look like this. Keto. Um, keto kind of fell off the wagon yesterday. You guys saw the pizza. I had a small serving of pizza, but I did eat the pizza. And then for dinner, I had a hot dog and I cannot eat hot dogs without a bun. Like, uh, and that's what they had was hot dogs. That was it. So I had one hot dog with a bun and I had a, um, small Reese cup and a small almond joy. And that was my treat. I came home and we took out all the peanut candy and I gave that to my brother-in-law. So he will be happy with that, David's brother. And then, um, so I send that with Grammy to give to him and she said she'd put in his lunches and stuff. Uh, and then Lucy has the rest of the candy and she's going to eat it very sp you know, sparingly. She doesn't actually have a ton. Um, thankfully, we didn't get as much as we did last year. So we're starting fresh on keto today. Our fun is over. And actually, like, my face is all broken out. My feet were swollen up yet last night. It's so weird because my feet never even did that when I was pregnant, but my ankles and stuff were puffy. And so I'm ready to get back on the train on keto. It was fun to have a little cheat, but now it's time to get back on the wagon. So 
be looking for more vlogs coming up soon. I don't think I'm going to vlog today. There's nothing exciting going on, but maybe I will tomorrow. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Who likes seeing the kids in their costumes? Nate does not do costumes, but he wore that Prince shirt. So he matched Lucy. It was so cute. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you a part of our YouTube family. I'll see you guys all later. Bye. Leave me a comment. What is your favorite Halloween candy? I want to know. See you guys later.